Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I am going to geek out with you on the genes that you can trigger with fasting that will improve your athletic performance. So super cool science coming out right now about which fast triggers what genes. Really excited to share it with you. So if you are looking for uh, that next level in your athletic performance, you're gonna wanna hear what I have to say on this video. So, and as always, if you're new to my channel, subscribe. I'm bringing you current research. I'm bringing you information on fasting twice a week. I put out new videos and on Thursdays we do a Q&A. So if you wanna come and chat with me, join me on my lives on Thursday. And as always, this stuff is so fascinating and you were born in such a powerful body that I'm excited to share it with you. If you love this information, share it out to the world. We gotta get people believing in themselves again. And all you gotta do is dive into the science on fasting and you will see just how powerful you were made to be. So hope this one helps. Okay, I wanna dive into some really interesting research that I found on fasting, genetic expression, and athletic performance. So there's a lot of different reasons why people come to fasting. Sometimes it's to lose weight, a lot of times it's to lose weight, sometimes it's to heal a condition. But I want you to take it to that next level and realize that when you build a fasting lifestyle, what you're doing is you're not only getting all the benefits of weight loss and overcoming conditions, but you're actually creating changes in your genetic expression. Go back and watch the video that I did on which fast is best for changing your, your ge genetic expression. Today, I wanna dive into a gene I found that is prevalent in endurance athletes. And when you do two specific fasts, it can upregulate this gene so that you can increase your athletic performance. Okay, so you ready? The gene is called a UCP3. Doesn't really mean anything to you until you, or didn't mean anything to me until I dove into what that is. But this is a gene that they find significantly higher in endurance athletes. In fact, there was a study that I'll put in the notes of, a, of Russian in, elite endurance athletes had a, a significantly elevated um, amount of this particular gene expression. So what they found is that there were two types of fasts that helped to turn this gene on and to magnify the expression of the gene. So first is your, your 15 hour fast. There was a five times greater expression of this gene at 15 hours of fasting. And this was specifically inside the skeletal muscle. Okay, so at five, 15 hours, hopefully you're doing that every day. This is intermittent fasting. If you're an athlete and you haven't been doing intermittent fasting 15 hours every day, this would now be the time to do it. But here's what's interesting is they found that there was a 10 times increase in the expression of this gene when people went 40 hours. So. 40 hours of fasting and you got a 10, an increase 10 times in the genetic expression of this gene. So we don't talk enough about the 40 hour fast. You guys, if you go back and you look that I've talked about dopamine receptor sites get rebooted at 40 hours. I've talked about how you get 40 and I'm, I'm gonna do a whole separate video on this second, this next study, that there are 40 different metabolites that get kick in at 38 hours that slow the aging process down. So, so many of us, as we're building these fasting lifestyles, what we do is we love the intermittent fast. Great, 13 to 15 hours. Then we maybe get excited about autophagy at 17 hours. That, that's awesome, autophagy is great for like detoxing your cells. Then we go, okay, at 24 hours, we can reboot our digestive system. Awesome, let's repair the intestinal mucosal lining of your gut with a 24 hour fast. Now we go, okay, let's look at 36 hour fasts. Those are great for people who are weight loss resistant and we're trying to like get them unstuck. 
And then we tend to hop from there to the 72 hour fast, which Walter Longo made very popular that reboots the whole immune system and is really great for stem cells. But what happened, what we don't want to lose sight of is between 36 and 72 hours, there's a little window in there that maybe you don't want to go do a full three day fast, but you want to do a, a two day fast. And what we're seeing in studies like this is that if you want to increase the expression of this gene, if you are an endurance athlete, so you're running marathons or you're doing, uh, you're doing Spartan training, or you have like a long type of athletic performance, you're a cyclist, then you're going to want to throw in some 40 hour fasts. So it's, to me, a 40 hour fast is actually, once you work up to it, is a pretty easy fast. The way that I would do it would be where you eat dinner on Sunday night and then you wouldn't eat again till Tuesday night. So somewhere in that time period, you might even eat Tuesday afternoon. That would get you 40 hours. So you're really only one day a week to, or uh, that Monday, you're just not eating. So gene expression, turning on these genes, making these genes active, and then making them active through fasting so that you can start to have better performance in your life. Pfft, how cool is that? So five time increase with 15 hours. So if you're not intermittent fasting, highly recommend it. 10 times increase if you're doing a 40 hour fast. So those of you that are athletes, combine that with my protein cycling uh, video that I did on how to build muscle through a fast. So go check out that video where I talk about how you can every two hours, you can eat 20 grams of protein to stimulate what we call mTOR, which is where you build your muscles up. So if you take that protein cycling and you combine it with some of these longer fasts, now you're using these really cool tools that your body's already been innately developed and you're tapping into them so that you can maximize your athletic performance. So I'm super geeking out on the gene expression and fasting. Stay tuned, I got a bunch more coming to you. If you didn't see the video that I did on which fast is best to, to uh, turn on and off uh, genes, go check that out. And stay tuned, because I'm gonna have one on anti-aging. Um, like I said, I've got this one on athletic performance. I'm diving into MTHFR and looking to see what if we have any science on MTHFR and fasting, pretty cool stuff. So as always, let me know. I hope that helps and just never give up on yourself. You are ridiculously powerful. If you don't believe it now, just dive into these studies and you will see you take food out of the equation and the internal healing of the body kicks in. So hope that helps.